In this particular video of WPF, we are going to implement the dynamic resources. So let's see how we can set any particular data as a dynamic resource so that even if we change it, the reflection of the particular change data will again be there in the particular target. So let's see a practical implementation where we are going to implement the dynamic resources. All right. So now to implement the dynamic resources in WPF, I will continue with the similar example in this window where I have already given a color of background and border to this button. But now all the implementation was static as here you can see which we have done in just previous video. All right. But now I will do the same changes as the dynamic resource. So for dynamic resource, as we know, the programming language will come into the action and here I will come to my C sharp window where I will define a couple of resources like here you can see this dot resources and here I will give it a name like color alright color is the name of my resource you can give any particular color here and what I want to do I will give it a new color like new color or let's say new solid color brush which we have used earlier also and here inside this I will say colors dot orange alright so here I have just defined one resource with the name color alright so what if I want to apply this particular resource to my button let's see what all changes I'll have to make here so first of all, obviously there is nothing like static for now. So I will just remove these things here. All right. And now I will start it with the dynamic resource. All right. So dynamic resource, what was the name of the resource? The name is color. All right. So name is color, which I have specified here. So when I will save it, you can see like it is saying like color is not could not be resolved because it is dynamic it is just a warning you can still execute it and let's see how it's going to work uh, one let me do one more thing like I have already a couple of resources here let me uh, just remove them also to make it ensure to ensure like it is all because of dynamic resource only so now I'm executing it and now you can see the color of this particular button is orange all right similarly if you want to make it the border also you can do that for that what I'll do I'll just make it a couple of things like it's a BG color and now another resource I've been creating that is border uh, let's put a double quotes all right border color is equal to new solid color brush colors dot green so now again I'll come here I will say border brush and I will use the dynamic resource and what's the name of the resource now both the resources name are changed it is BG color and another one is border color the binding will take place at the runtime itself. The result means whatever the, the things are to be resolved will resolve at the runtime. All right. So let's execute it now. And here you can see the orange color and the green border. All right. Let me increase the border thickness here so that you can see it clearly. All right. I just make it to 10. Let's re execute. All right, so you can see it's a green border. All right, it's irrelevant, but yes, I just wanted to make it clear. So uh, this is how you can start putting the dynamic resource for the WPF application. All right, so what you will have to do, you will have to create the resources right here in the C sharp or any programming language like VB if you're working with. And whatever name you will give it here, you will have to continue with the same but you will use the dynamic resource along with the name and let these warnings be here because it will not stop us to execute if they are just warning and we will be able to execute to make the things change at the runtime. So this is about the dynamic resource.